It's big dog season. And you can't stay still because you want it. Mm hmm. Talk that talk, George. You still scraping your plate because you're hungry. Mm hmm. Talk that talk. Today is Tuesday, June 18th. It's 12 o'clock in the morning. I can't sleep. Um, last night was a complete terrible situation over here with these dogs. They were, I guess maybe it was some animals in the backyard, some, maybe some deer or some coyotes running through the yard. And boy, them dogs kept me up all night long. And, uh, but anyway, the reason why I'm doing this video so late tonight is there was this was a this was a it was a rough weekend for me because there was two news reports that um, three news reports that caught my eye, and I could, it was a, a guy came up missing in Texas. I just realized they found him dead. There was a correctional officer, um, a food worker, a food service worker was shot inside a prison, shot and killed inside a prison here in Georgia. How in the hell did a gun get inside a prison and into an inmate's hand at a prison where he could shoot and kill a woman? He shot and killed her, then shot and killed himself. And then a doctor, a Morehouse intern doctor, was shot and killed here in Atlanta by her, um, her ex-husband. They arrested him and charged him. He he was they went all the way to Indiana and arrested him and charged him with. Um, he uh, stabbed her to death. So, for me, I understand why a lot of you all don't watch the news because you see all this crazy stuff. And you think, what? You just think, what the fuck is going on? What kind of world do we live in? I hate to see so many black women harmed by the men who once loved them. Um, as I was researching the story of the correctional uh, food worker who was killed um, come to, they're saying now that she was probably having a, a relationship with the guy who the inmate who killed her not sure what to make of that so, I mean I've, I've, I've you all have heard of correctional officers or workers having intimate relationships with inmates and just you know, there's a thousand questions running through my head. Did did he? Did she bring that gun? Did she sneak the gun into the inmate to the prison? How did the gun end up in the inmate's hand? Why did he choose to, you know, shoot her uh, and then kill himself? What kind of relationship did they have? And they said they claim he left a suicide note. Um, moving on to the doctor who was killed, who uh, by her ex-husband. You know, what was that all about? I mean, we, we see so much domestic violence in the black community, it just is crazy. And then moving on up there to um, to Texas with this young man, Jar uh, Jarvis. I think, what was his name? Um, he, he showed up missing and they found, a, they found him in a park um, somewhere in, San, in Antonio, Texas. In Antonio, uh, yeah, it's late at night. These stories start merging together, but they found his body. He showed up missing. The last person who saw him was his sister or one of his one of his sisters. Something not right about this whole story, but them sister, the sisters, whoever. I, I have a sneaky suspicion. The last person who saw this man knows what happened to him. They found this car with all his personal belongings, laptop, computer, blah, blah, luggage. Everything was still in the car. They found his body. They couldn't say if he had been shot, stabbed, killed. I mean, it sounded like to me it was maybe a drug overdose. I mean, somebody moved his body into that park. Uh, took him over there. We'll, we'll never know the answer to that one. But I guess the police are doing their investigation. They're going to find out shortly what happened to that young man in Texas who was from St. Louis visiting Texas. All crazy stuff. It's hard out there. You know, it's, it's just... These stories kind of struck me because, you know, I'm, I'm dealing with my, I'm, of course, I'm dealing, I'm over here taking all these pain pills, still dealing with my teeth. I I had, um, 
on a side note, I had started using a different toothpaste. And boy, I don't know why I made that decision to use that toothpaste. That toothpaste tore my mouth up and inflamed my mouth and it made the situation way worse. I was thinking I was using a toothpaste that would probably help with the sensitivity of what was going on. But well, that toothpaste, I said, they never pick up that damn toothpaste. That's, that damn mess got my mouth all tore up, gums all inflamed. So I had to switch back to my old toothpaste and just give it a few more days. And I was doing pretty good until I started using that old, that toothpaste I went and purchased. That was dumb on my behalf. I said, never switch toothpastes trying to, but anyway, moving on been a rough weekend for a lot of families and I woke up this morning I woke up this morning I didn't get no sleep last night and I was kind of mad at the whole wide world and I turned on the TV and the first thing I saw was six people killed in a house fire here in Georgia and I thought oh lord I had to go I had to, you know, make my coffee with this going on in the background and it dawned on me Walter your situation is not as bad as you think it is you worried about two little dogs barking all night long you didn't get no sleep. Six people died last night in the house fire. And, um, you know, you know, I see why y'all don't watch the news. Yeah, I didn't get no sleep last night. Laid here with two dogs barking. I don't know what they were barking at y'all. I couldn't tell you. Um, they were up all night long just barking and howling and just making it even when I brought them up here in the room with me uh, trying to keep them calm they still and I kept look, and looking out there was something going on outside that's all I could say and um, I never found out what it was well I hope they do find out what happened to that young man in Texas um let me see. What was his name? I think his name was Jarvis. Um, I think his name was Jarvis because I was just discussing it with a friend of mine, Jarvis McIntyre. Something ain't right about this whole... Somebody knows what happened to him. And I think somebody who he knew, I think maybe they might have been doing some drugs and maybe they did a drug overdose. Or, I don't know. I'm just... Don't... Yeah, something's not right. And then they said he, that somebody was he down nine one one and he was running from some races. Or then his mother said that she that that she didn't make that statement that she never the police never told her that. And I'm just like, okay, well what? There's so much confusion. I have read article after article after article and still don't, <clears throat> don't know what was going on. I guess they let the police do their investigation. I was waiting to, to see if I could find any article that had anything that the police had to say, and I couldn't find one article. The police haven't said one word that I could see publicly. <sighs> well, we know the in Georgia here where the inmate killed um, the food worker. He supposedly he left a suicide note. I guess the question that everybody and this should be a top story because how in the hell could an inmate get a gun inside a prison? What is going on here? That's that's just bizarre to me and dangerous and reckless and how did this happen so <sighs> well uh, years ago when I was serving time back in the early 90s back in 1990 a inmate stabbed a food worker to death in the kitchen when I was there and um I remember this vividly. Um, I never forgot that because I was at that prison institution when this happened. And it was frightening because we didn't know what was going on. They just ran around locking the whole camp down and come to find out this man had stabbed to death a, a food service worker in the kitchen. and. He, I, we don't, I don't, to this day, I don't know what took place in there, why he chose to do this, why he stabbed that woman to death. Um, never, I, I'll never know. But when I saw that over the weekend, it just brought up all these memories. Like, I mean, it really made me just stop. 
what I was doing, just sit down, I had to sit down because I was thinking, is this still happening? Yeah, still happening. But someone's being killed in a prison. Georgia prisons are horrible, horrible, horrible places. When I look at the news and I see all these people shooting and doing all this crazy shit, and I, what do they think they're going to? Some type of wellness camp or something? I'm thinking, do y'all not know how horrible the prison system is? Here in Georgia, do people not understand this? It's, 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 <laughs> I don't think I'm going to spend the rest of my life in the prison system under with a life sentence with no parole because I. Yeah, uh, the Morehouse doctor, the man who killed her, her ex husband, he got him under arrest and extradited him back from Indiana. He's going to spend the rest of his life behind bars. For killing his ex wife. And for what reason? What was that all about? Anyway, those stories stuck out in my head. And um, just news that came across the internet and across my television over this past weekend. And it just makes you stop and think. And so much to be grateful for. You know, I've been stressing about a lot of stuff, y'all. I've been really, 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 really stressed out. Really stressed out. And, um,. I don't know why I've been so stressed. My anxiety's been sky high. And I can't even figure out what the reason why. Is it something I'm taking? Is it something I'm eating? Is it maybe it's my mother and her predicament over there? Maybe it's just, I don't know. Maybe I need a vacation. But I think the problem is really my teeth. <laughs> These lovely teeth I went and purchased. Uh, it's going to take some time for me to get used to it. Today I was, I was in the gym working out. I was, it was me and my workout probably had the best workout. And I just had to just kind of put myself, it was like an out of body body experience. I had to just hit those weights and I said, I'm gonna hit these weights hard, I'm gonna work out and hit these weights. I'm gonna forget about these damn teeth. I'm gonna forget about those reports I saw on the news today. I'm gonna forget about everything. I'm, I was tired as hell. I didn't get no sleep last night and I just, I hit them weights hard. That's how I, I, that's my stress reliever. That keeps me from killing other people. Y'all yeah, might want to try it. Works for me. I ain't that. It's never crossed my mind to kill somebody ever. Never ever. But I'm not a psychopath either. All right. So we got to find out what happened in Texas. If anybody, please, please let me know what happened in Texas with this young man because it's on my mind. I'm just like, what the hell happened in Texas? What happened? What took place? Um, they gonna please gonna find out, and I'm searching the internet, and I was maybe too soon, you know, I haven't saw anything, but they are gonna find out what happened. And if you all have any ideas, post it in in the, in, in the video, uh, in in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think think about this inmate shooting a prison worker in a Georgia prison. How the hell did he get a gun inside the prison? And the doctor, excuse me, who was killed by her ex-husband. What are your thoughts on that? So anyway, it's just a short little video. I've already taken my sleeping pill, waiting for the kicky in. And um, that's all I can say, y'all, for now. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading y'all's comments about the questions I ask in this video. Today is Tuesday, is January 8th, June, June, January, June 18th, the year is 2024. And, um, let me know what y'all's thoughts are. I'm out of here. Have a good night. And I'll see you all later on in the day. <laughs>